Siddham, also known in its later evolved form as Siddhamadurka, is a script used for writing Sanskrit from c. 550 c. 1200. It is descended from the Brahmi script via the Gupta script and later evolved into the Assamese alphabet, the Maithili alphabet, the Bengali alphabet, and the Tibetan alphabet. There is some confusion over the spelling. Siddham and Siddham are both common, though Siddham is preferred as correct. The script is a refinement of the script used during the Gupta Empire. The word Siddham means accomplished or perfected in Sanskrit. The script received its name from the practice of writing Siddham, or Siddham Astu, may there be perfection, at the head of documents. Other names for the script include Banji, Japanese, Fan Z lit. Brahma's characters and Sanskrit script, and Chinese, Shi Tan Wen Zi Pinyin, Zitan Wen Zi lit. Siddham script. Siddham is an abugida rather than an alphabet, as each character indicates a syllable, including a consonant and possibly a vowel. If the vowel sound is not explicitly indicated, the short a is assumed. Diacritic marks are used to indicate other vowels, as well as the anusvara and visarga. A varama can be used to indicate that the consonant letter stands alone with no vowel, which sometimes happens at the end of Sanskrit words. Topic. History Topic. Many Buddhist texts taken to China along the Silk Road were written using a version of the Siddham script. This continued to evolve, and minor variations are seen across time, and in different regions. Importantly it was used for transmitting the Buddhist Tantra texts. At the time it was considered important to preserve the pronunciation of mantras, and Chinese was not suitable for writing the sounds of Sanskrit. This led to the retention of the Siddham script in East Asia. The practice of writing using Siddham survived in East Asia where Tantric Buddhism persisted. Kakai introduced the Siddham script to Japan when he returned from China in 806, where he studied Sanskrit with Nalanda trained monks including one known as Prajna Chinese, Ban Ruo San Kang Pinyin, Bor Sankang, 734 c. 810. By the time Kakai learned this script, the trading and pilgrimage routes over land to India had been closed by the expanding Abbasid Caliphate. In Japan, the writing of mantras and copying, reading of sutras using the Siddham script is still practiced in the esoteric schools of Shingon Buddhism and Tendai as well as in the syncretic sect of Shigendo. The characters are known as Shitan Shi Tan or Banji, Fanzi Chinese, Fanzi. The Taisho Tripitaka version of the Chinese Buddhist canon preserves the Siddham characters for most mantras, and Korean Buddhists still write bijas in a modified form of Siddham. A recent innovation is the writing of Japanese language slogans on t-shirts using banji. Japanese Siddham has evolved from the original script used to write sutras and is now somewhat different from the ancient script. It is typical to see Siddham written with a brush, as with Chinese writing, it is also written with a bamboo pen. In Japan, a special brush called a bokahitsu pu by Cantonese, pokebat, is used for formal Siddham calligraphy. The informal style is known as feud. By Cantonese, Mubit. In the middle of the 9th century, China experienced a series of purges of foreign religions, thus cutting Japan off from the sources of Siddham texts. In time, other scripts, particularly Devanagari, replaced Siddham in India, while in eastern South Asia, including Assam, Bengal, Bihar, etc., Siddham evolved to become the Eastern Nagari script, Terhuda script, and Anga script, leaving East Asia as the only region where Siddham is still used. There were special forms of Siddham used in Korea that varied significantly from those used in China and Japan, and there is evidence that Siddham was written in Central Asia, as well, by the early 7th century. As was done with Chinese characters, Japanese Buddhist scholars sometimes created multiple characters with the same phonological value to add meaning to Siddham characters. This practice, in effect, represents a blend of the Chinese style of writing and the Indian style of writing and allows Sanskrit texts in Siddham to be differentially interpreted as they are read, as was done with Chinese characters that the Japanese had adopted. This led to multiple variants of the same characters. With regards to directionality, Siddham texts were usually read from left to right then top to bottom, as with Indic languages, but occasionally they were written in the traditional Chinese style, from top to bottom then right to left. 
Bilingual Siddham Japanese texts show the manuscript turned 90 degrees clockwise and the Japanese is written from top to bottom, as is typical of Japanese, and then the manuscript is turned back again, and the Siddham writing is continued from left to right the resulting Japanese characters look sideways. Over time, additional markings were developed, including punctuation marks, head marks, repetition marks, end marks, special ligatures to combine conjuncts and rarely to combine syllables, and several ornaments of the scribe's choice, which are not currently encoded. The nukta is also used in some modern Siddham texts. The script Topic Vowels Topic Topic Consonants Topic Topic Conjuncts Topic the combinations that contain adjoining duplicate letters should be deleted in this table. Alternative forms of conjuncts that contain n. Topic R syllables. Topic. Topic Some sample syllables. Topic. Topic. Siddham fonts Topic. Siddham is still largely a hand-written script. Some efforts have been made to create computer fonts, though to date none of these are capable of reproducing all of the Siddham conjunct consonants. Notably, the Chinese Buddhist Electronic Texts Association has created a Siddham font for their electronic version of the Taisho Tripitaka, though this does not contain all possible conjuncts. The software Mojikyo also contains fonts for Siddham, but splits Siddham in different blocks and requires multiple fonts to render a single document. A Siddham input system which relies on the CBETA font SiddhamKey 3.0 has been produced. <laughs> Unicode Siddham script was added to the Unicode standard in June 2014 with the release of version 7.0. The Unicode block for Siddham is U plus 11580 U plus 115 FF. Notes Sources Topic Bonji Taikan, Fan Z Da Gn Tokyo, Maiko Fukukai, 1983 Chodari, Saraj Kumar, 1998. Siddham in China and Japan, Sino-Platonic Papers No. 88 Stevens, John. Sacred Calligraphy of the East, Boston, Shambhala, 1995 Van Gulick, R. H. Siddham, An Essay on the History of Sanskrit Studies in China and Japan New Delhi, Jayad Press, 1981. Yamasaki, Teiko. Shingon, Japanese Esoteric Buddhism, Fresno, Shingon Buddhist International Institute, 1988 External links Muktamsidam Free Unicode Siddham font pre Unicode 7.0 mapped to Devanagari code points Aptavasidam Japanese free Unicode 8.0 Siddham font mirror Siddham alphabet on Omniglot Examples of Siddham mantras Chinese language website Visible mantra an extensive collection of mantras and some sutras in Siddham script Banji Siddham character and pronunciation Siddham key software for inputting Siddham characters. <laughs>